Next up on our current calendar is the German Grand Prix, a country so out of sight and so out of mind that the new YouTube terms of service don't even make a dent on their way of life. On the grid are Juan Pablo Montoya on pole, Ralph Schumacher in second, Rubens Barrichello in third, Jano Trulli in fourth, and our own big brother Michael Schumacher in sixth. Unless this race decides to take a U-turn and let Shumi win, you're going to have to do everything you can to keep me watching. Oh, and Justin Wilson is now in Jaguar because Pizzonia was rubbish. The 2003 German Grand Prix is go, and the two Williams have a good start while Barrichello tries to take third place from Raikkonen, and yes! 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 This is exactly how I wanted this race to go. My dreams have come true. Thank you, Rubens, for sacrificing yourself to the FIA gods. And then unsurprisingly, the safety car comes out. And this is the perfect time to get up, procrastinate for about 15 minutes, and then come back with a clear head. I'll be right back. No, 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 Ralph. You're supposed to point at the damage and then wave your finger and lose the championship by one point. It says it in the script, damn it! The safety car goes into the pits like Millie and Bug in the Third Wars, and we're racing once again with Montoya still in the lead of the race. Yawn. Oh man, this is riveting stuff right here. Where the hell even is Schumacher? He's, did he just completely vanish into thin air? So, contrary to popular belief, there is overtakes going on. Only thing is, that it's a Jaguar being overtaken by a McLaren. Nobody in their right mind would want to watch that. Oh, hey, Heinz Harold. Just a reminder that your best days are behind you now. Have a good day. This race is so painfully boring that Eddie Jordan is merely pretending to watch this race, despite the Jordans hardly playing a part. That's if you completely disregard the Turn 1 accident. Aw, oh, man! Not you too, Justin Wilson! Maybe Pizzonia was a great driver, but the car on the downside was the little definition of a shitbox. Okay, I'm now inclined to believe that the drivers are willingly taking themselves out of the race just for the sheer fact that it's just as fucking crap as this year's German Grand Prix. So Schumacher managed to have a dreadful start, take him out of the racing line, and somehow completely avoid the absolute carnage that happened right beside him. If that's something you conspirators would want to look too far into, then that's it. Anything weird or wonderful going to happen in the pits? Anything at all? No? For fuck's sake. At least this year's race had a reason to be infuriating. This is just pure, unadulterated nothingness. I could play every fucking Call of Duty game and get more analysis than watching this fucking turd of a race. What a time to be alive. Alonso had the chance to win a race. Not that it makes that era any better, but you get my idea. Five second penalty to the matter! Jesus Christ, what's the matter with you? Oh, come the fuck on. Is there 45 laps left? This is fucking crap. Oh, look. It's a Verstappen who is actually less slash more talented based on whether you thought Belgium this year was forgivable or not. See? Me, Chris Cook. Unbiased. Let everyone have their say. And here it is, folks. Everyone's favourite cat's phrase. <coughs> uh, fucking back markers. You do realise that your name is Fernando, right? Not Carlos. Fernando. Say it with me. Something bad's gonna happen to the leader. Maybe? Please? Nope. Well, fuck you then. If Montoya isn't fucking up somewhere, nobody will. This is genuinely stupid. Quite literally, nobody wants to be crap today. We need someone shit to come in and spice things up. We need Pitsonia back right now. Oh, nice. Schumacher overtook someone. A bit late, don't you think? Just a little. Oh, now that's just cruel. So untimely cruel. Oh, hooray! It's over. Honestly, this makes me so glad that the old Hockenheim layout doesn't exist anymore because God knows how dull it would have been if it stayed in 2003. That was fucking dreadful.